Hydro Flask water bottles. These water bottles recently have become really popular. And not just in the outside world, but they've been popping up on YouTube, more specifically in the art community. My artsy friends, such as Chloe Rose Art and Soul Craftastic, have even gone to lengths to modify them, customize them. But before we try and understand why the heck these bottles are $35, we need to look at what makes them so popular. I am just learning here, so bear with me, we're going to learn together. Hydro Flask is a water bottle that is mainly used by a subculture that is called Visco Girls. And Visco Girls is not just pretty much a trendy thing, but apparently a lifestyle, which in my opinion is kind of contradictory. The idea behind being a Visco Girl, which apparently is also an app that you can edit your photos on, is to have this kind of I don't care hippie type mentality. However, big comma, Visco Girls are brand loyal. So by trying to be I don't care, they end up caring about the brands. One of them being Hydro Flask. And of course they wear expensive footwear like Birkenstocks and Kanken backpacks which go for about a hundred dollars. So just equipping yourself to be a visco girl is a pretty expensive. How do they not care? I don't know. You know what that means? Time to become a visco. A hydro flask from a sports shop. Let's try and find where the hydro flasks are. Are there any over here? Mm, nay. I see quite a bit of stuff over there. Let's see if we can find it there. The answer is nope. Typical Canadian side, we're going into the hockey area. Hockey side has disappointed me. All right, there seems to be bottles over here. Maybe we'll get lucky. Oh boy, here they are. All right, let's see what makes these special. Oh, that is, is that metal? I think that's metal. What are we looking at? Holy sugar snaps. $36? Why? All right, I think I'm gonna grab this black one over here. Oh my. Yeah. Alright Hydro Flask, you and I, we're gonna get to know each other very intimately. And so, here's my Hydro Flask. First one ever. One of the things I don't understand about this Hydro Flask is I went ahead and tried to find information on how to care for it because it's, it's metal on the inside, but as you can see, the opening is pretty small. That's what she said. So with an opening this wide, you would assume that you can put this into the dishwasher so that it can get a good cleaning. But the answer is no. They specifically write on their website that this is not for the dishwasher. And the other thing is, I'm going to be attempting to customize this hydro flask and I will have a giveaway. Reason being is I can't really drink from anything metal because I'm allergic to metal. So the second I drink from anything metal, oh, hello, hello. there's an echo. There's an echo. Huh, huh, huh. Nerdy, Nerdy crafter, crafter is pretty, is pretty cool. cool. As I was saying, if I ever drink from anything that has a metal inside, I actually get shocks all the way from my jaw down to my feet. When I did a little bit of digging, apparently that's because my body is a pretty good conductor, which means that if there's a thunderstorm, I'm most likely the one who's going to get struck by lightning. So if you want to participate in the giveaway of this custom Hydro Flask, wait until the end of the video for details. So firstly, let's get an impression of what this material is that we're going to be working with. Upon first impression, I thought the outside was metal, but the more I touch it, the more it feels like a kind of hard plastic with the inside that is metallic. So this kind of makes me a little worried because I had intentions of shoving this in the oven to make it harden with clay. But you know what? This little grain over here is not gonna give up because I'm still gonna try and put it in the oven. If we fail, I'm just gonna go buy another one. I say I'm doing it for science. All right, so let's remove this thing over here. Ooh, quality control. Can you grain see this? First of all, for a $36 water bottle, there's discoloration from where they put the label and the actual flask itself. Do you guys, here you go. I can see it way more clearly. A little bit more matte and a little darker. Hydro flask, why aren't we friends? Are you going to be another Crayola? Because then I'm gonna throw you in the trash. So our task today will be customizing this with some Sculpey polymer clay and also this really weird but really cool substance, which when used correctly, why are you making me wave this thing at you? What did you do, confess? When this paint is used correctly, we can get a really cool effect of color changing. So as you can see, my little unicorn is sitting down, and the second I touch a spot, the color is going to change based on my body temperature. Let's observe. Voila! And the color will change back to normal depending on the room temperature. But the more you touch it, 
the more the color changes. And of course, my hand was on the other side, so we're gonna attempt to make the whole bottle this way. Will I succeed? I said I don't know. Stop judging. All right, so the first test is going to see whether or not this thing can hold onto clay. And I'm just going to put a little bit of the liquid Sculpey to use it as adhesive. And let's try it down here. And the answer is... Ooh, oh, that holds on beautifully. <laughs> All right, so let's do the doing. So since I really want this design to be something that is usable, I don't want it to just be something that you would display because otherwise, what's the point of having a water bottle? Of course, you can use it as a vase if you want, but that's entirely up to you. By the way, do you say vase or vase? I say vase. So the design itself needs to be something that is going to be slightly on the flat side. So almost kind of... Almost kind of... Wow. English number one. Kind of like a top view of a creature. And since y'all know I have a sweet spot for dragons, well, you're gonna be a visco dragon if you want this flask. And so my major points of inspiration are coming from two specific pictures, and I'll be using the dragon mold texture from Sophie and Toffee just to kind of add a little bit more interest on there. I will be adding more color, or at least attempting to add more color, but that's gonna come later. First, we need to make our dragon. And in case you were wondering, I wasn't going with the European type dragons that we most traditionally know as the ones with wings and and then the cool bodies that are kind of dinosaur-y. I'm going with the Eastern type dragons that typically don't have wings and have very snake-like bodies. I just thought it would look cooler because it's a flatter kind of thing so we don't have to put the wings. Extra long statue. So here we are with the base of the dragon done. I can't help but feel like we're getting like Game of Thrones vibes. Now for the part that I have no control and no idea if this is going to work. If we can customize a flask by putting it in the oven with clay, I'm pretty sure that's going to be a game changer. Let us pray to the baking gods. Dear baking gods of Evermore, please protect my piece from cracks, burns, and melted flasks. And also, stop breaking my stuff! Let's take one last look at it. Flask, I bid you adieu. Here we are back from the oven, and Grains, I'm really sorry to tell you, there's just no. It's my channel, let me talk! Okay? So, what I was trying to say is that here we are back from the oven. That was a hit and run! <coughs> Oh, salt, help me. My parrot just hits and runs. Proud of yourself? Yeah. Come back. Are you done? <laughs> you okay there? <laughs> <laughs> As I was saying, we are back from the oven and this is a game changer. You can indeed, probably don't do it at home, put a sculpture on a hydro flask. That's pretty cool. Right, Burp? That was rude. You didn't have to say that. Bring your butt over here. Bring it. I have things to say. Because I'm going to grab your butt and smack your butt. Is that what you want? So I really do have to say that I am surprised and really happy because they say this can't go or shouldn't go in the dishwasher, which worried me quite a bit because I thought that maybe the outside would be plasticky and might actually burn. But there was no change whatsoever in the actual shape. Now for the fun part, let's paint it. So I'm going to be using masking fluid in order to keep the logo on there and as well as the words Hydro Flask. I'll be using a paintbrush and this is my first time ever using a masking fluid so I really do hope that it works on plastic. I've never ever tried it even on paper so look at me, I don't know what I'm doing. Hey, you didn't have to agree with me. <coughs> oh, does this expire? It smells like fish. Oh, gross. No, you don't want to smell that. That's, that's gross, Bird. That's really gross. You don't want to sniff it, Bird. I said, listen to me. Listen. You done? No, no. I knew you would do that. What? <laughs> now that our Hydro Flask logos are secure, at least I hope so, I'm going to go ahead and take some masking tape to close off the entrance, the, the, the nozzle, so that whoever gets it, if they want to drink from it, it's secure. Hopefully nothing goes in, but just in case, if, if you are the winner, make sure you wash it either way. As I'm prepping my surface, I just realized that I actually need to put the masking fluid after I put my coat of Mr. Super Clear because I really want something for the paint to hold on to so I'm gonna have to use this. If I use it on top of the, 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 the sticky thing, what's it called? 
Masking fluid, that's what I meant. Then the issue with that is that I potentially will be sealing in the masking fluid, so I should be putting it afterwards. So, at least we know it works. Before going on any further, let's look at all the different ways putting on a color changing thermal paint can go wrong. When I used it the first time, I used a sprayer type mechanism. And what ended up happening is that the blotches of spray were so thick that it just kind of looked gross and gooey. Next, I tried painting it on, but the same thing happened. The layers were just way too thick and, and, and gross. And I just, I, I didn't want that no more. And then last but not least, I used a mechanism like this, slightly diluted it with a couple of drops of water and sprayed it on. That's what ended up giving us the perfectly kind of layered unicorn. Is it going to work on this hydro flask? I have no idea. For those of you wondering, this paint is called Liquid Crystal and it was sent to me by Solar Color Dust. Thank you. I'll leave their links in the description box below. All right, time to shake. And in order to ensure the maximum benefit of success, I'm going to use very thin coats all the way around, waiting for it to dry naturally, and then trying a second coat. Come on, spray! That's the issue with this one. One eternity later. Still not working. So, as usual, this sprayer had a bit of a hard time to work, so what I'm going to do is switch the canister and hopefully the next one works better. Obviously, using an airbrush would be way better, but mine just doesn't work with thicker material. Here is attempt number two, and... Please! Oh, there we go! Please! So much like the previous one, I'm still going to be very patient and hope that the spray does come out. Eventually, we will get it. One of the things I noticed with the liquid crystal is that it's really easy to peel off. Even when I'm removing the masking fluid, it's like, nah, bro, I'm gonna come off. So you have to be very careful, otherwise you're going to get some ugly edges. Kind of like mine. So as soon as I got those pieces off, I went ahead and put another coat of Mr. Super Clear because I don't want to risk having to repaint the whole thing again. So as you can see, when the flask is actually cold, it is almost purely black. There are some blemishes from the liquid crystal paint, but so far I haven't figured out yet how to get a non-splotchy type texture. But I mean... Look at that dragon. Oh yeah, look at that dragon with that ooh, very, very nice and curvy body. Look at that. Those long, long mustachios that go all the way from its snout to practically half its body. Oh boy, that dragon is one smexy dragon. As the room is getting warmer, it's less and less black because it is a thermal paint. So if we want it to be even more colorful, we're just going to grab the water bottle, you know, because hey, I'm, I'm thirsty. Look at that. You can see the color already changing under my fingers. Oh my god. Oh, Oh, that is way cooler than I expected. That is really neat. I think, now I'm sad I'm giving it away. But as you can see, oh gosh. The warmer your hands are, the more of a texture you're getting. And that's why I chose to do these swirlies in either blue or green, so that they blend in when you're trying to kind of hold it, more or less. Look at that. So for your viewing pleasure, let us press some different spots. I got it cold again. Let us press some spots. So if ever you're thinking of using liquid crystal, make sure that you do use an airbrush or the spray kind of mode. Look at it go back, how cool is that? Get a dragon egg all colored up here. Yeah. Oh no, oh no, in a window time. Let me 
know what you think of this project. Do you want me to do other kind of modifications for hydro flasks? If so, make sure you leave a thumbs up. The more, the better. For a chance to win this flask, make sure that you fill out the Google form below. Make sure that you are a subscriber, have notifications turned on all notifications. And leave a comment down below to tell me what's your favorite kind of craft. That's it. Make sure you fill out that Google form though. Why'd you have to hit me? Huh? I know you're laughing at me, but I'm a person and I have feelings. Not feelings, I have fi- This week's shoutouts go to Sprinkles Lava, Rezzy Hawkshash, Blank Flong, I love your profile picture, Zuzia, Zelia the Wolf Dragon, Sano Dark Angel, C Shyster, and Monterey May. I love that I'm holding my sharp pointy thing. If you want a shout out in my videos, don't forget to hashtag Notification Squad in the comment section below within the first five hours of your video's release, or hashtag NerdyCrafter on Instagram, Twitter, or Facebook anytime with any of your creations. If you want to watch the previous Liquid Crystal project, as well as so many different color changing projects, make sure you check up here. And if you want to watch a video YouTube thinks is just right for you, make sure you check down here. Until then, I will see you grains in the next video.